So let's demonstrate how to use the TI-30XS multi-view to do uh, the mean and standard deviation of a discrete probability distribution. So this is actually problem 64 in the SOA sample P questions. So I will uh, do my demonstration on this problem. So first we hit data and we want to clear uh, the one, the lists L1 and the list L2, that's where we'll be entering our data. So enter, that clears L1, and then go back to data, and now I also go to two, L2, and I want to clear that also, so hit enter. And now I'm ready to uh, enter my data. So I'll start with the L1 column. So the main data values which is the claim size will be entered in the l1 column so that's easy 20 30 40 up to 80 so l1 is 20 scroll down 30 scroll down 40 keep going 50 60 70 80 and scroll down um, and now I scroll to the right. So now in the right column, I will enter my probabilities and they were, so now the most convenient way to enter the probabilities will be to enter them as integers. And so to make them all as integers, uh, you have to multiply all this column by uh, some common number, which makes them all integers. So 100 is the most convenient number. I multiply all these by 100. So they, they become 15, 10, 5. So I'll enter 15, scroll down, 10, scroll down, 5, scroll down, and then the rest of them, Oh, this will be 20, 10, 10, 30. So 20, scroll down, 10, 10, and 30. So 30 is the last value, but do scroll down. Look, it hasn't registered it yet. So make sure it has registered it. So after you scroll down, then it has registered it. And now you're ready to do your calculation. So for that, you do second, stats and one variable enter and your data should be in L1 so enter so that it becomes solid so similarly your frequency or your probability should be in L2 so enter so just to make it solid and now hit calculation enter and so the mean is 55 but look the SX is not the standard deviation that we need we need the uh, standard deviation of probability distribution, which is always the population standard deviation. The SX is the sample standard deviation. So you scroll down and you see Sigma X, that's the population standard deviation. And that's what we need, the 21.79.